What up to Fleshy Family? It's your girl Patra. And today I'm about to give myself my first IV infusion. The doc the nurse showed me what to do last night. I'm gonna try to do it. Hopefully I get through it. And guys, last night T was so amazing. He knows I can't get this wet. He knows it's you know it's already difficult for me to use my right hand. So he basically when he came home from work. I was downstairs and I'm like, where is he? What's taking him so long to come? And he came downstairs and we talked about whatever we're talking about, did whatever we're doing. Then we came back upstairs and I came upstairs and he had like massage oils and then he even had like, I went in the bathroom just randomly after a while. And the bathtub, he had a bath set, everything. I mean, he's done that before, but this time he's doing it for a more consideration, you know, out of consideration of my situation. He, he has to give me a bath, like he has to bathe me because can't get it wet and I'm not going to go in the shower, it's going to be too hard, whatever the case is. Anyways, I'm about to go do my, my treatment and I'm going to well, watch me struggle. I don't know if I'm going to struggle or not, but it's my first time doing it myself. The nurse did it yesterday. I'm going to see how I do this. Let go. Harmony woke up, woke up early. She's watching TV and she fell asleep. Zayla is now ready for breakfast. Say good morning to Flashy family. Right, say good morning. Her big brother is preparing her breakfast. It's your Flashy family, it's too real. Too Flashy. You gonna help me with my, with my treatment? Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> so guys, before I pick up the camera, I sanitized the area. I'm actually about to set the camera up so y'all can see me and see what I'm doing. I'm gonna set it up. I'm gonna set this up, show y'all, and then I'll do the rest later. So I set up my station. This is my saline solution, the steroid saline, the heparin. I guess what she said, it's a blood thinner so that my line doesn't get all clogged, whatever. I don't understand the medical, I don't know the medical terms. And this is the cap that I'm gonna put on the end of it when I'm done before I wrap it back up like this. So, Let's see if I could do this. I better be able to do it because it needs to get done today. Like, I don't want to do it at night because steroids will keep you awake all night. No bueno. Not good at all. It gives you insomnia. Real deal. So first I use the alcohol swab. Well, let's pull this down. I'm not a medical professional, so y'all don't judge me. Wait, Samantha, am I supposed to unclip this before I start cleaning it? What you're going to do is you're going to clean the port first. Okay. Let it air dry. Okay. Got nurse on the line. Got. Yeah. She said do it like 15, 20 times. So you said unclamp it. Then put the then do the saline. Yeah. So okay. Yes, open. Then I'm gonna do this one. So I guess it's a good thing I'm doing this when my hand has gotten a little bit better because last week I wouldn't have been able to hold this like this by myself. I'm about to take the alcohol swab out with my teeth. No, no, no. What? <laughs> I was about to. Then I gotta get some of this out because I don't want no air in there. She said, she said a little bit of air won't hurt. I'm like, nope, don't want it. No, you don't want that. No, I don't care if it's okay. Then you gotta clamp no, it. You unclamped it? Shit. And then the damn thing fell. Oh my God. I'm cleaning it again. Yeah, I'm cleaning it. I'm cleaning it again. Yes, you want no infection? Nope, don't want that. Yeah, um, this is where you can see that shit's going on because I can hardly get this in. Then she said I gotta do like pump, pump, like like a little pulse. Okay, that's not gonna work. Hold on. Pump. A little bit. Okay. Let me pray out of the 
it keeps flushing it. If it burns more, it knows it's not that shit. Maybe I'm just scared. Yeah, you're pushing, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, don't leave feel like that. We start having to go whoosh. Yeah, because the old stuff that was right here just yeah, went back in because there was a little blood right there at the entrance part or whatever. But it should have more burning though. Huh? You shouldn't feel no more burning after that one little time. That's just you know, now it just feels cold. Okay, that's good. A few moments later. So I just connected the medication to the whatever this is called. What they call this, Samantha? Um, the IV tube block. Okay, so I just connected it to the IV tube block and unclamped it. I forgot at first to unclamp it, but I, I finally remember it, so it's unclamped. So the medicine is starting to go in. I'm gonna be like the Incredible Hulk when this is done. I'm just kidding. <laughs> this is gonna take about an hour to go through, so I'll be back with y'all when it come when I'm done with it. I gotta actually change my batteries. So it's been about 30 minutes or so, and as you can see, the package is shrinking. And so I have about another 30 minutes to go, and once that's done, I'll be switching to the next one. So you wanna keep on your pajamas all day? Okay, whatever. So guys, the medicine is finally done here. And this thing in the middle that's, I guess, sailing to keep it propped open or whatever. So I'm about to move on to flushing it. So I gotta take this bad boy off. Detach here. Let's see. It's done, because there's nothing coming out. Oh, sorry. If there was more left in there, it would be coming out. You'd see it popping out, but there's nothing left in there. So that's done. And now I gotta get this saline open. Guys, I'm telling you, if this, if I was doing this part, this treatment by myself last week, it wouldn't have worked. I wouldn't have been able to do it by myself because my hands, I wouldn't be able to hold anything because anything that I hold, it, I, it would literally fall on my hand. So my body is trying to repair itself. This is just gonna help to make the process faster. And um, this will also help me to gauge whether or not I need occupational therapy because I'm having a difficult time writing. As you can see, I'm still struggling a little bit to hold this. It's, it's hard to do fine motor skills is what they call it, I guess. So writing, typing, those stuff that I do on a regular, like stuff that everybody find, once you learn how to do it, if it come, it's like second nature. Yeah, writing is not that easy for me right now. See, I thought I was holding this and it was somewhere else in my hand, but it's okay. Ooh, why is blood coming back in this thing, though? I don't know if that's normal. I'm gonna text the nurse when I'm done. Oh, wait, no, I don't want that. There's a bubble. Oops. Don't want that bubble in there. I know she said it's not gonna hurt me because it's not like it's a big old thing, but I'm not taking no chances. Nobody's taking any chances around here, you know? Gotta do it like a little pump pump action. So this is all done. So I'm gonna take this off now. Oh, I took it off wrong shit. What do I do? I guess just put it back. Oops. Oh no, it's not coming off, right? Oh, okay. Wait, I did it wrong, that's why. Okay, so that's done. Now we're gonna do the blood thinner just to make sure that it doesn't coagulate in or clot or whatever, something like that. Don't remember exactly what she said. But this is supposed to help. It's a blood thinner. Oops. And we gotta wipe this off again because it was on the pad. 
can in front of me. So I'm gonna wipe these off. Is it raining, Zoe? Yeah. Oh. Can I have an apple? Zoe, you just had a go gurt. Y'all, put y'all two cents in the comments. Do y'all kids wanna eat y'all, eat like 24 hours a day? Like every hour on the hour? You've been there for two hours and you had two things to eat. You had breakfast and then you had a snack. And where does it go? Huh? So same thing with this one. I gotta, I don't know why I'm trying to do that. Let's do it the way that I know I can. I think I did something wrong here. I don't know, but it's working, so we'll just go with it. Okay, okay see the fingers are starting to get a little crampy, crampy. I want to incorporate, maybe because this one is smaller. So I just put the antibacterial cap on here. I know I didn't show y'all that because everything's a struggle, so you know I can't be like, oh, let me do this or whatever. Anyway, so I got I took that off, I took the heparin off, it's done. It's done. So then I put the antibacterial cap on here. Well, you know, to do the cleaning process or whatever. Now I'm gonna fold it back up. And see the blood that was in here that came out of here, the backflow blood, that's gone too. I guess from me flushing it out, clamping it. I clamped it, yep, it's clamped. And then I gotta just wrap it back up. This way I can still be semi-normal with my kids. Just fold this up here. And keep it dry. And this, my friends, I have to do this for three more days because today was the second day. So I have to do it for five days and the nurse is gonna come back and take out the IV line. I'm, they said I could just do it myself. Not happening. I'll put y'all two cents in comments. Would you do it yourself? I don't think so, I'm not doing it myself. I'm not certified, I don't know how none of this stuff works. What if I start bleeding out, I'm gonna freak out. No, I, don't, I can't do that. I'm gonna let them come back and do it for me, take it out, and hopefully the stiffness and numbness will be gone by the time I'm done with this treatment or if it's not gone, it's almost gone. I haven't been vlogging in between like the, um, when symptoms were getting worse because I wasn't thinking of picking up a camera. I was home by myself with the kids because T still had to go to work. So it's like, it was just a lot. So I hope y'all understand that. And like there was a point where like literally I'd be holding something in my hand and it would just fall and I don't know it's gonna fall until it's on the floor. I'm like, oh, damn, I wanted that, you know? So this hand was basically of minimum to no use. So vlogging's hard in that situation. Cause yeah, I'm holding it with my left hand right now, but it's still, it's still just not, you know, you know, and my whole right side of my body was numb. It's not, it's numb still now, but it's not as numb as it was before because it's, my body's going through its own repair process and I'm gonna be good because like I told y'all before, God's got me, God's got your girl. If this is your first time watching this channel, make sure you subscribe, turn your notifications on that way you don't miss a video when we post one. Put your two cents in the comments, I've asked y'all before, put your two cents in the comments, let me know. Have you ever had to do anything like this? Like, this is my first time dealing with my any type of IV on my own. It's not as hard as I thought it would be. It's a little intimidating, but it's not as hard as I thought it would be. And, um, you know, share this video with your friends. I'm not a medical professional, so I'm not giving medical advice. This is what I have to go through to treat my MS or to help with my situation. And. You know, I figured I'd like to share it with the world. Like, you know, maybe you could help somebody. Maybe one of y'all could help me. You know, I actually have this book that I'm getting ready to read. It's called The Walls Protocol 
This is written by Terry Walsh. She's a doctor who was diagnosed with MS. I don't know how long ago because I haven't read it yet, but the pharmacist told me about it when I told him I was scared of the medicine that I'm about to take. Not this, not this medicine that I'm taking right now. There's another medicine, a prescription that I have to take on a daily basis, like which is like for the rest of my life to prevent these flare-ups. And I'm scared of it, so I want a more holistic or natural way. And you know what you, you are what you eat. So I figured I could do it like that, but I don't want to just sit here and be like, I'm a vegetarian and eat just vegetables. I need to know exactly why and how it processes in my body. And this doctor, I read just the preface of the book already, and from what I've read, she has done her own research. She's a doctor, right? A doctor, a real life doctor. And then when she got diagnosed, she basically, I don't know if she switched to practice, I don't know what her story is, but I know that she came up with the Waltz Protocol, which is um, the Paleo, she uses the Paleo Principles, which is where they eat a lot of meats. I don't necessarily care to eat a lot of meats, but I wanna at least know what alternatives I have and why I eat certain things. So I don't know any of these things, so I figure the only way to do this is to educate myself, because normal doc, you know, Western doctors are not gonna tell you, unless you go to a nutritionist, which is, it's good, but you know, when I go to the doctor, I don't remember everything clearly what they tell me. If I read a book about it, it'll help me. So I'm gonna read this book and educate myself on what to eat because I prefer to eat healthier and better. I've even, there's another book that I'm gonna buy soon after I'm done reading this one. I don't want them to pile up and then I don't read any of them. There's another book that I'm gonna buy which is gonna talk about eating for MS recovery. And I read the reviews on some of those books and the people who've changed their diet has significantly changed their life in dealing with MS. They have been able to stay off of the Western medicine, which is my goal. I want to be normal and I want to be healthy. I want to be, I want to, I don't want to have any more flare-ups. Please Lord. I don't want to have any more flare-ups, but if I do, hopefully they're minimal and that's what I'm aiming for is to change the way I eat so I can be better, I can be healthier. And guess what guys, I will probably lose some weight too. Look, I got double incentive. Why not change the way I eat? Anyways, thank y'all so much for watching this video. Keep on supporting us. Everybody's here, but you know, as you can see, what I'm dealing with, they're not interested in this stuff they're playing. And this thing is at work. You know, he gotta bring home the bacon. Yeah, I know it's a crazy time. And yes, he's still working. Thank God he's still able to provide for his family. But I miss him when he's not here because he'd be helping with this and he's not here. But anyways, thank y'all so much for watching this video again. We really appreciate your love and support. Remember to always put God first. And we all say, too flashy!